Good morning. Today we are going to study about DNA mismatch repair in E. coli or prokaryote. In DNA mismatch repair, uh, there will be two strands on during replication which follows because of semi-conservative replication a parent strand and a new strand of uh, DNA formed but at some points the bases will not have complementary pairing say A is bound to guanine instead of thymine and this region is said to be a mismatch which needs a repair so what will happen is that at a distance from this mismatch region there will be a sequence of uh, DNA GATC which in the new strand will be CTAG so it is a palindrome sequence in which a protein called dam methylase will act to methylate the adenine base and so the old strand or the parent strand alone will be methylated with at the adenine by dam methylase and now the mismatch is recognized by the binding of mut s protein as it scans the dna strand new strand for uh, any mismatch so it has identified the a g mismatch and that will activate the binding of mut l protein which will result in bending of the dna loop so that the gatc region is in close proximity to the mismatch region and it will also bind at the same time a mut h protein and it is this mut h protein that will bind at the gatc region and what will happen is that uh, the mut h protein will create a nick or cut in the dna at the gatc region and then another protein called helicase will bind to this loop which will straighten up the DNA and so now the exonuclease protein will bind to it and it will start removing bases in the new strand till the mismatch and a little far away from the mismatch a few bases away from the mismatch and this exonuclease is followed by dna polymerase 1 which will add new bases and so being a short strand of dna synthesis the g base is removed by exonuclease and the t base which is the complementary base for adenine is added by the dna polymerase at the mismatch and so it will finally result in the presence of a nick at or a gap in the dna strand new strand so a new protein another protein dna ligase will come into action and it will bind the dna strand or dna bases it will join the dna bases and so ultimately we have the correct dna base or dna strand which is not having any mismatch is resulting so thus in today's topic we saw how the dna mismatch repair happens in e coli we found that mut yes protein is first recruited 
which is followed by recruiting mut l protein and mut h protein and the mut h protein will cleave the mismatch in the new strand so this is the order in which proteins are recruited during mismatch repair of dna in e coli thank you for attending to this topic and we will see you again in another topic